And of course, for the FNDC, it's now official. The National Front for the Defense of the Constitution has been dissolved. The announcement was made by the authorities of the Guinean-Bissau Transitional Government through an order of the Ministry of Territorial Administration and Decentralization. Considering that this de facto group organized in a hierarchical manner with administrators and violent members jeopardizing national unity, public peace, and living together, does not appear on the list of non-governmental organizations in the Republic of Guinea, nor on the list of association collectives in the Republic of Guinea, and even less in the directory of non-governmental organizations approved in the Republic of the country. The de facto grouping known as the National Front for the Defense of the Constitution is dissolved, the transitional government of Guinea announced in a press release. An announcement that comes has the citizen movement created in April 2019 plans a new demonstration in the country on August 17, 2022. For the moment, the FNDC has decided not to react to this decision. This group announced on Monday that it will organize a citizen and peaceful demonstration on Sunday, August 14, 2022 in Brussels and on Wednesday, August 17, 2022 throughout the national territory of Guinea in accordance with Article 20 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 21 of the International Convenant on Civil and Political Rights, 11 of the African Charter of Human and People's Rights, 34 and 8 paragraph 2 of the Guinean Transitional Charter. The National Front for the Defense of the Constitution of Coalition of Parties, Trade Unions and Civil Society Organization was already behind the demonstration on July 28 and 29 to denounce the unilateral management of the transitional by the military power in transition. Prohibited by the authorities, these generated and five people were killed. Following this demonstration, the Minister of Justice Alphonse Charles Wright threatened to dissolve the FNDC. According to him, this group does not have a legal existence in the country. In adding, all organizations that do not have a legal existence in the days to come, their activities will be prohibited as soon as possible. This is particularly the case of the FNDC, has declared the ministry in a media release. On August 1st, the Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, called on the Guinean authorities, the political class and civil society to engage in an inclusive dialogue in order to defuse tension and agree on a timetable and reasonable modalities for the peaceful restoration of constitutional order.